later in this video. Oh, today was such a weird day. I'm just gonna go to bed early and hopefully everything will be back to normal when I wake up. All right, Misery, I just added the new dream dust to their drinks. I love you, Spike, but I have to let you go. Great dream, cotton candy skies, rivers of soda, trees that grew chicken fingers. Ah, oh, I hope I have that dream again tonight. Happy birthday, Chloe. Ah! Oh my gosh, oh, it was all a dream. Hey, Chloe, bad dream? Ah, not again, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, relax, Chloe, it's just me, it's just a mask. Flash, oh my goodness, you scared the bejeebers out of me. Why are you wearing such a scary mask? Oh, I just made it for a scary film I'm working on. I just had the weirdest dream. I mean, it was like a dream, maybe it wasn't a dream. It's like I woke up and I saw you in this mask, but it's like I saw it happen twice. It's like my powers are acting up. Maybe you're just stressed. Remember when I kept turning into random objects when I wanted to tell Crystal about Cheshire and I? Also, it's your birthday. Actually, my birthday's not until tomorrow. Oh yeah, maybe your powers are growing stronger. That's right, that must be it. So what are you and Spike gonna do for your date? I'm not sure. Spike said he has something really special planned since tomorrow's my birthday. I can't wait to see. Chloe? Well, that surprise is ruined. Did you get a premonition of the date? Yep. It's a picnic. Dang. Well, I gotta go meet Camilla and Cheshire. They're helping me with my movie. Good luck on your date. Remember to act surprised. Finley, watch out for that! <laughs> Magic eight ball. Ouch. Huh? Anyway, I'm gonna go meet Camilla and Cheshire. They're helping me with my movie. See you later. W wait, what? This just happened. Uh, Finley, um, maybe wait till you're on set to put that mask on. You might trip over something. Oh, good call. See you later. Oh, <laughs> my magic eight ball. I've been looking for this. Tripping over this would not have been very lucky. Whoa, that was crazy. All right, time to get some skate practice in. <laughs> oh, wait a second. No, am I heading towards the stairs? Oh, oh, not cool. Oh, Chloe. Oh, that was perfect timing. Well, I can't have you falling. Well, unless it's for you, which I do a little more every day. But seriously, how lucky was that? Luck actually has nothing to do with it. Spike, I have something amazing to tell you. I've been getting these premonitions. Seriously? You can see into the future? Oh, how long has that been happening? Well, it just started happening today. That's so totally cool. Ooh, so if you can see into the future, what'll I have for dinner? Spike, I can't really pick and choose what I see. It's like, it's like a random vision. Oh, well, maybe it'll just get stronger with time. I'm just glad you saved me from eating dirt. <laughs> so is there a future where you accompany me tonight for a picnic at sunset? Oh, wow, a birthday picnic. I am so surprised, did not see that coming at all, wow. What can I say, I'm the king of surprises. But first we're meeting Emma at the coffee shop. Whoa, how did you know that? Because we planned it yesterday. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Clobear will have a caramel macchiato with extra caramel. Oh, and that special protein powder you put in there yesterday, Gia? Got it. And Emma will have... Uh... Oh, that's easy. She wants a chai tea latte with soy milk because that makes it sweeter. And I will have the pumpkin spice latte with two extra pumps of pumpkin spice. Gia, when are you off? Probably by the time that I'm done with your order. I'll bring it over and join you. Great! <coughs> All right, Misery. I just added the new dream dust to their drinks. All of the pops will be susceptible to your magic plan. Yes, even Spike. <sighs> Marvelous, you have been a perfect little spy. Ugh. But this is it, Misery, I'm good now. Once this is over, we're even, right? Right, right, I'll keep your little secret, as long as you get the job done. So Emma, Chloe basically saved my life earlier. She's my hero. 
Spike, you would have been fine even if you did fall. Well, you never know. <laughs> well, I kind of actually do. Wait, what? My powers have kind of been acting up lately. I'm seeing things happen that haven't actually happened yet. Oh, like premonitions? How cool. You know, actually your birthday's coming up and last year on my birthday, I unlocked this cool new skill on my ring. Maybe with every birthday, our powers grow. Three coffees coming right up. Oh! I tripped on your skateboard, Spike. I'm so sorry, Emma. Ugh. Spike, don't leave your skateboard in the walkway. We've talked about this. It's okay, Gia. I, these aren't my favorite overalls. They're my second favorite. Last year on my birthday, I unlocked this cool new ring power. It's happening again. What's happening, Chloe? Three coffees. Gia, watch out for the skateboard. Ooh, that was a close one. Thanks, Chloe. My visions, it, it's happening again, but this time instead of Spike falling on the skateboard, it was Gia and, and coffee spill all over Emma. Oh no, not my poor babies. Do you just get premonitions when people are about to get hurt? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I like having this new skill or not. It's really weird. Well, maybe we should ask Majesty about it. In addition to the Super Pops, introducing the new Super K Pops. No, 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 no. Ah! And cut. That was amazing. Thanks, Josh. I mean, uh, Chad. Okay. So we filmed the monster resurrection scene, and we filmed the hey this monster's actually a good guy scene, so what scenes do we have left? We're running out of daylight. How about the big monster scene? But don't we need more actors to wear the costumes? Yeah, we probably need the other pops help. No, we don't. I got this. I, I can, can wear them. them. Since when can you do that? Always. That would have come in handy in the past. Let's wrap for today. We still have to get ready for Chloe's surprise. Majesty, we have a question. Hey guys! How do I always end up next to you, sister? I mean, Flash, Crystal, and I all teleported together. That's a silly question, Cheshire. Anyway, what brings you up here? Cosmic, are you still randomly seeing the future? Say no more. Your birthday is tomorrow, right, Cosmic? Yeah. Well, you may not know this, but with each passing birthday year, your powers actually become stronger, and you may even develop a new ability. Okay, so so this is normal, so I don't have to worry about the visions because they might not be true? <laughs> no! I need Cosmic to fully believe in all of those premonitions in order for my plan to work. Your plan? Who made you in charge? Ugh. Yeah, I'm a natural born leader, duh. No, you're not! You just throw tantrums all the time! Ugh, listen! I've been working with Glow Pop, and she's been like sprinkling magical dust in their drinks so that they're easier to trick. Ugh. Ooh, I love tricks! Who should I transform into this time? I've got a premonition that's gonna turn that little Cosmic Pops world upside down. Today was such a weird day. I'm just gonna go to bed early and hopefully everything will be back to normal when I wake up. Another year older, another year wiser. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, OMG, what are you guys all doing here? We've been planning the surprise for you all month. And since we know your powers have been acting up, we decided to surprise you first thing when you wake up so you wouldn't see it coming. Also, we all pitched in and got you a little something. Actually, it's kind of a big something. Oh my gosh, guys, you shouldn't have. Oh, it's, it's a Roomba? Yes, I picked it out myself. Finley and Camilla told me that you don't like cleaning much. Oh, gosh! Crystal. <laughs> I mean, you said it yourself, you're kind of messy. No, I mean, yes, I mean, it's very thoughtful. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna call him Jeeves. Here you go, Jeeves. Clean my room. I brought you breakfast. It's a little cupcake or sampling of the cake to come later. Oh my. Oh, that's okay, Majesty. I... No, Jeeves, don't eat that cake! He's dragging cake all over the room. Don't worry, I'll stop him. Oops. Well, I didn't get a premonition of that happening. Maybe the rest of my birthday will be uneventful. 
Ladies, I'm getting an alert from Celeste. It seems there's some unusual bungler activity. We must head to my ship at once. Spoke too soon. Let's go. Super Pops, we can't be stopped! What's the situation, Celeste? Misery and Disruptor have broken into the Sunnyville Museum of Natural History. We have to stop her before she can do any damage to any ancient artifacts. But why would Misery choose a museum? I mean, you think there's a magical item there that'll make her stronger? It is possible, not to mention Disruptor's dinosaurs. I really hope we're done with those. Well, if that's the case, we should probably call for backup. Cosmic, can you ask Spike, aka Masked Spectre, to meet us there? Sure, I I'll ask him. Spike, we need backup. Is the mass specter available? For sure. Meet us at the Natural History Museum. Copy that. Stop right there, Misery. Yeah, we know what you're up to. Ah, uh, hello! Remember me, Disruptor? Yeah, I'm here too. Ugh, quiet, you lizard! Ugh. Hey, Super Pops. Ooh, and mess. Spectre, so good to see you again. Give me one reason why I shouldn't search both of you for any stolen museum artifacts. Artifacts? Oh, please. Who wants a bunch of dusty old knickknacks? Yeah, we knew you'd be all too eager to protect this little museum. <laughs> Wait, is this a trap? Uh, a trap? No, 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 no. We just wanted to wish Cosmic Papa happy birthday. Right. You didn't invite us to your birthday, and you left us out! Since when do you guys care about being not invited to parties? It's just that we have a gift for you, Cosmic. A gift? For me? That's right! A vision, to be specific. Oh no. What's happening? What are you doing to her? I'm just showing her the future. Cosmic! Cosmic! What do you see? <gasps> Oops! Sorry to spoil the ending for you. <laughs> what was your vision, Cosmic? Spike, I have to break up with you. What? What are you talking about? I don't know. You were bad. I was bad. If we stay together, we're gonna end up running the bunglers. Well, there has to be another way. Are you sure you can trust your visions, Cosmic? It was so real. I love you, Spike, but I have to let you go. Cosmic, no. Come along, Mass Spectre. I've got an offer for you. Uh, we have an offer for you. Ugh, whatever. Well, this has officially been the worst birthday ever. What did I just do? I feel like I ruined everything. I, I broke up with Spike, but it was to protect him, but now Misery has him? And Majesty, did I make the right choice? Cosmic, only you know the answer to that. Right now, though, we need to focus on getting Spike back. <sighs> this is all my fault. It's not your fault, Cosmic. It's mine. No, Glow. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. I was the one who recruited Misery! If it weren't for me, Spike would still be here by my side. It's nobody's fault except for the bunglers. And what we need to focus our attention now on is getting Spike back and stopping Misery. How are we going to find him? There are like a million bungler layers all over the world. I heard they even have one on the moon. I actually have a solution to our problem. I put a nano tracker on Spike at the museum so we can track his location and I can monitor his vitals to make sure he's okay. Thank you, Electra. Where is he? Is he okay? Oh, according to my ring, Spike is fine. He's just right outside Crimsonia. That must be where another bungler lair is. I, I can take us there. There's something that I need to- Well, yeah, because we have a map. <laughs> Thanks, Glow. It looks like there are multiple entrances. I have a plan. Mmm, poor Spike. He got his little heart broken by that mean old Jigglypuff. Cosmic is not a Jigglypuff. I'm sure she had a well thought out reason for what she did. Yeah? I mean, after like all she's done for you. Am I wrong or doesn't she always like leave you behind for important missions? She is a strong independent woman. She can take care of herself. But like, who's gonna take care of you? Certainly not yourself. You're all alone. You've got like 
Nobody. You're wrong. I have... Cheshire? He, he's my friend. How dare you keep talking back! Don't make me talk to your supervisor, you- Stop it! Sorry. Who's gonna save you? Alright, join us. Become a bungler again. Together, we can have whatever we want. I'd never join you, Misery. You're just a goat lady with long fingernails dressed in leather. Ugh, why does everyone keep saying that? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna have to turn him into a bungler. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm going to destroy the Super Pops. Okay, does everyone understand the plan? Aye aye, Senora Capitano. Let's do this. Let's save Spike. Incoming transmission, unknown signal. Put it through, Celeste, please. Affirmative. <sighs> Is it going, noob? I think so. How can you tell? Ugh, is the red light blinking? Nope. Just a green light that says wreck. Oh, wait, I'm colorblind. We're on. Oh. Hi, Super Pops. Oops. Sorry. I meant Super Pops. It's me, Misery. <laughs> oh, I have your spike. <laughs> Come here, handsome. Oh no, Spike! I will destroy you, Super Pops, if it's the last thing I do. But first, where can I get a burrito around here? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, just get out of here. <laughs> so yeah, like, that was Spike, so... <laughs> what did you do to him, Misery? <gasps> Spike! My Biffle! After you broke his heart, he turned to the dark side. He's bad now. But, um, I guess I can, like, return your love to his original state if you do everything I say. What is it, Misery? Cosmic Pop must surrender herself to me and become a bungler. Never! Cosmic will never work for the likes of you, you goat. Say it to my face, you unsalted Pringle. It's okay. I'll do it. What? I need to save Spike. It's my fault he's in there in the first place. I hope you guys understand. No, it's not. Please don't do this, Cosmic. My decision is final. Misery, I accept your terms. You better keep your word. I am many things, but a liar isn't one of them. Be here in an hour or the deal's off. 